हेलो वन एंड ऑल आई एम धनंजय पी से वर्किंग एज असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग साइंसेस ऑफ ए एस एस एम एस इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी पुणे टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द स्पार्क इग्निशन इंजिन दिस टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम सिस्टम्स इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट ऑफ फर्स्ट इयर इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट so you can see the diagram of spark ignition engine here we can see the inlet inlet valve then inlet manifold air fuel mixture will be coming inside through the inlet manifold here we have piston then cylinder piston is connected to the crankshaft using connecting rod with gudgeon pin and crank pin here you can see the crank the lower side of the is engine is called as crank case some piece there for oil this body of the engine is called as a cylinder block upper portion is called as a cylinder here we have the exhaust manifold and exhaust valve so at the burn gases will be thrown out of the engine through this exhaust manifold through the exhaust valve and here at the middle we have spark plug for spark ignition engine we have this spark plug whereas for compression ignition engine we have the fuel injector so these are the different parts of the spark ignition engine cylinder the combustion of fuel is taken place inside the cylinder the pressure up to 70 bar and temperature is up to 25000 degrees celsius will will be generated when the fuel air fuel mixture is burned inside the cylinder head the cylinder may be air cooled or water cooled that means low capacity engines are cooled by air whereas for high capacity engines a uh, water jacket is there for cooling purpose material used for the cylinder is uh, cast iron or aluminum alloys cylinder head it is upper portion of the engine piston the function of piston is to transmit the gas force to crank through the connecting rod it slides in the cylinder piston ring piston rings are provided to prevent the leakage of gas to the crankcase upper rings are called as compression links and lower piston rings are oiling rings that means on to the surface of these pistons the piston liners are there connecting rod one end of the connecting rods is connected to the piston through piston pin and other end is connected to the crank through the crank pin it converts the reciprocating motion of piston into rotary motion of the crank shaft that means this one is a connecting rod it converts the reciprocating movement of this piston into rotary motion of this crank shaft gajan pin it connect the piston to small end of the connecting rod crank and crank shaft crank is integral part of the crank shaft it supports on the main bearing crank pin is used for connecting the connecting rod to the crank crank case it is a bottom part of the is engine it is having the oil sum which carries the lubricating oil flywheel 
it is a heavy rotating mass attached to the crank shaft outside the crankcase the function of this flywheel is to smooth out the cyclic fluctuation of the engine and torque developed by the engine inlet valve it controls the admission of charge in the cylinder and exhaust valve to discharge the exhaust gas from the cylinder spark plug it provide the spark for combustion of fuel air fuel mixture inside the cylinder carburetor it mixes the air and fuel mixture with the proper proportion with the required proportion fuel injector it injects the fuel inside the cylinder so this is for the compression ignition engine fuel pump in some of the automobiles fuel pump is used for increase the pressure of fuel before sending it to fuel injector in the ci engine cooling fins are the outer body part of the engines which provides the additional surface for cooling purposes for dissipation of the heat crankshaft is supported inside the main bearing thank you so these are the different parts of the spark ignition engine thank you